Oh my goodness. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are finally back on the GT3 wide body Ferrari for first year warranty services. And as you know, we have been quite busy with all of our builds. So it has been a little bit difficult to schedule in the wrap guy with our tight schedule, but he is finally on his way and we're gonna try to knock out this wrap job completely. Our main goal of today is try to get the graphics complete. And we do gotta wrap a few other little things like that little wide body piece there. But before we do anything, we do gotta give it a wash because it is a little bit dusty from sitting. So let's go ahead and rinse it down. Then we're gonna pull it inside and the wrap guy should be here any minute. Alrighty boys, so Tim from New Vision finally pulled up in the M5, clean as can be. And look at all these colors we got here. Looks like the dang Fast and Furious movie or something. Need for Speed. Need man. for Speed, Fast and Furious 10. But what are we doing here boys? We're gonna start doing that last wide body piece that needs to be wrapped white, right? Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and quickly wrap it white, throw it on the car, and then go ahead and start with this graphics kit on the driver's side and hopefully get it knocked out. This wide body flare is finally wrapped. We went ahead and bolted it onto the car. Right now we're gonna move onto this rear bumper and actually fasten it onto the car as well. That way once we do get to our graphics kit, everything aligns and flows properly. We also removed that protective layer and right now we're actually gonna degrease this whole entire surface. Then we're gonna bring in our graphics kit and slap it on. So this side graphics is finally complete and it looks really good. It did take a little bit longer than that side because we were doing a bunch of measurements, trying to match that side to this side, and I think we got it as best as possible. But as of right now, we're actually gonna move onto the front bumper, throw the graphics onto it. Now I wonder how it's gonna look like. I think it's gonna look pretty sick. We still got a bunch of decals that we gotta throw on, but we'll save that for later. So let's go ahead and try to knock out this front bumper.
guys, so check that out. That front bumper is finally complete and it's starting to look way more aggressive now, dude. Now we're gonna make it even more aggressive oh, because it's we, not are, stopping. we are moving onto this hood right here and we're about to install these fang looking things, little sharp points, whatever you wanna yeah, call it. Definitely, everything is starting to flow together evenly. As you can tell there, starting to flow from there to there. Oh, it looks and good, And now dude. it's gonna flow from the hood onto the roof. It's just gonna get even more crazier, ain't it? Oh yeah, that's right. Oh that's yeah, right, but this boys. hood is gonna be a pretty difficult thing because we gotta wrap the inside of this all black. So we're gonna have to be uh, really technical with how we cut our pieces, but I think we can easily handle that. So that's right, because yeah. Tim, Tim's got it under control here. He's got in the way. Just a few hours of work. Just a few hours of work. That's right, let's keep moving. So one of the most time consuming things that Tim just did was actually fill in these vents with black wrap. And that's kind of what we had to do. We had to do that separate. That wasn't any part of the actual graphics. Because, no, because the graphics that were designed for this car kind of have a concept, so they're a little bit different exactly. hoods and stuff like that. This one, uh, this hood actually has a big opening in it, so we had to fill that up with black. And there's actually something else that lays right yeah, on top of it. it kind of goes along this line right here, and then something else that I guess like goes like this. Something crazy, but as you can tell, Tim is bringing out the bang. So, it's, so it means it's Something's getting real. Up, man. Something's it's up. getting real it's right It's getting real, now. but anyways, we're, we're about to throw this uh, on the car so it's easier to throw the bigger graphics on. So let's go ahead, pick it up, and slap it on there. Right, guys so check that out we got some blue we got some white we got some red but this is actually going to get covered up with a little bit more black but as of right now we're going to hold off on this and that is because we did spot a couple bubbles in it i guess air air bubbles or what is not it? my fault <laughs> it's not your fault but what we're thinking about doing is actually putting it out in the sunlight right yeah put it out in the sun let the sun heat it up and uh release most of them if not we'll probably get a needle and pop a little hole in it but... because because there is a, another graphics piece that goes over this yeah, that we're gonna hold right off on top of it but for now we're gonna leave that alone move on to the roof over here man this is a pretty pretty epic piece that's yeah, gonna go dude. on top of this dude it's gonna look almost as cool as that stuff or it's probably gonna look cooler than that it's stuff definitely there, gonna dude. look cooler well everything is gonna flow nicely so yeah. i think it's gonna look legit america style here as you can tell we got the red white and blue and now we just need some stars and stripes that's exactly what we're about to do. <laughs> exactly dude i can't wait to bring out this next piece it's gonna look sick we're gonna go ahead and put on that wheel on that side and then we're gonna lower the car right yep let's do it man
right, so we got some stars and some stripes on the roof, and man, this thing looks absolutely amazing. We even got red, white, and blue on there. Exactly, dude. This thing is completely transformed from when you seen it this morning, so huge shout out to Tim doing his thing, but it is super late on us right now. We didn't completely finish, but we're gonna continue probably tomorrow in the morning. Next day here, and we did a little bit of cleanup because this stuff was very tedious and time consuming, so we saved the cleanup for this morning. There's tons of big scraps, little scraps, everything in between, but it is definitely paying off, as you can tell there. Right now, we're gonna actually stay on the front end here. We're gonna throw on these headlights, and we got some yellow wrap, you know, that race car lifestyle stuff. I don't know exactly what this is, this is if this is wrap or tent. I don't know, it's pretty crazy. thick stuff, but we should, we should be able to throw it on there, but that's thick enough to actually protect the headlights if you wanna even race this thing like exactly. a real race car, man. Real race car stuff here, and after we get the headlights knocked out, we're gonna move on to the canards and the lip just to complete that front end. Man, it's gonna look sick. So oh let's yeah, just, dude, that's gonna look let's, crazy, let's, man. Let's, let's do it, man, let's knock this stuff out. Alright, so we just attempted to tint this one headlight and it looks pretty dang good right there But I think we're gonna have to redo it because it is not perfect I think we used the wrong slip solution So it's got a couple of bubbles and air pockets in it and it's not sticking properly So we're gonna leave that up to the professional Tim That's his specialty and we're actually gonna move on to the front bumper actually throwing those canards and that lip as well But let us know what you guys think does that look better than this or does this look better than that? What do you think? I don't know man. This is like the uh, original GT3 race car type stuff right race here car stuff right Yeah, there, they all had the yellow headlights during the races. I don't know why uh, comment down below why did they do the yellow? Fog. I have no maybe fog. fog. I don't maybe know. fog. Maybe so it don't blind people. But right now we need to move on to this front bumper. What do we got here? We got some sick carbon fiber canards. I believe it goes like this. It's definitely gonna transform the front end of this bumper. It's gonna look super aggressive. So let's go ahead and install these and slap together this front end and see what it looks like. Son. Oh my goodness, dude. This thing is looking way more aggressive Ooh. now. All that downforce, especially, you probably got about 2,000, 3,000 pounds of downforce, depending on how fast you're going. Man, that slick carbon fiber with them canards right there, dude. Them suckers right there look tough, Ooh, They're going to slice through that air because you see how smooth it is? That's why we did that oh, right man, there. dude. That's nice and clean. Starts flowing a lot nicer. Like, like I said, the canards actually look exactly like the graphics kit. Oh, you know yes. how they all move Super up? Hard, like dude, everything flows properly i think the the graphics kit makes this car look 10 times faster oh, yeah. than it actually is you know it looks That's like right. it can go like 300 miles but an it, hour with but the it also gives it horsepower each one of these decals is five horsepower especially the red white and blue the sharp probably ones a are, lot more yeah the red white and blue that's at least a thousand horsepower the sharp ones about 20 horsepower oh but definitely they do go all the way down right we just yeah. haven't did that just yet they're gonna flow right here all the way down and we're gonna throw on a, a few more decals along the side here we're gonna throw on first year warranty services right here yeah you can't forget the sponsorship decals on the side that's what makes a race car a race car you know hey, what i mean that one that's front and center is the owners of this car and they're going to send it to some other youtubers which is going to be crazy i don't know who's going to be yet and a lot of people are wondering probably why is this side just black and white and that's not going to be the case no, no, because no. there's still more things that are going on these stripes right right along these stripes right here is going to be a red outline it's going to look killer dude i'm just going to match wait. the whole entire car it's going to look crazy i mean this thing look at that roof we 
got to drop this thing, see what it looks like, because you can't really see that roof right now. You oh, want to just man. lower this thing down. Yeah, let's lower good... it down, and uh, I think the front end is going to look a lot better too lowered. Dude, so go ahead and drop this lift, and we'll check it out some more. Oh, man, dude. Here she goes. Dude. It's like one of those race car lifts, too. Dude, the actual challenge cars, they have the built-in lift system. So you just plug it up, and then it just goes... Shh, shh. Man, that would be legit if this thing had it, but... Dang, dude, that looks sick. And oh once again, let us goodness. know. Let us know which uh, headlight looks better. I mean, honestly, they both look pretty good. I'm kind of leaning towards the yellow though, because I personally think that looks dude. more of a GT3 race car, yep. especially with the canards and stuff Ooh like that. And it looks super sick when it's on the ground, dude. My personal opinion, I do like the white actually a little bit better, but you know, it what? looks a lot cleaner. You know, it looks like a Ferrari, but this looks like a race car. So, man, we don't know. Comment down below. We're gonna let you guys decide. But other on that. than that dude what are we doing on this side right here because the front end is starting to look crazy got a lot more colors before this... we before we get to any more type of decals or any kind of graphics i'm going to go ahead and mention that we are going to lower this car a little bit more because as you can tell it's sitting too high it's like an off-roading machine oh right it definitely now. needs to go lower it'd be sick to do probably like some air suspension but i don't know how that's all done that's, on a ferrari that's but... ideal for this type of kit because it does scrape a lot in here and what we're going to do is get skinnier tires and we're gonna have to maybe trim a few things up in there. I don't know, we haven't figured that out yet, but that's it for that. As for the roof, look at that roof, looks super sick. Oh, nice and man. subtle, black and white. We're not gonna probably do any color there. I'm not sure on that yet. Yeah, we'll probably just leave uh, the colors that flow from here, and then they're probably gonna keep flowing from the back. We we're thinking about what, like tinting that Dude, rear window? Doing some super dark limo tint along that back, and then uh, complete it off with the red, white, and blue stripes all the way down. That looks sick, dude. And then that it's gonna transfer onto the bumper here. I think we're gonna get rid of this decal. We're gonna move some uh, things around, but as for the red stripes that go along these edges right here i think we're gonna give it a shot right now and they actually what they run across the each or right here along all of these edges it's gonna look sick well man. i think they run uh across one like one here one here and one there so something I, like that something we got like the, that we got the rendering that we're going off all this stuff is based off of a race car rendering so let's uh, go ahead. actual gt3 race car itself exactly. so exactly. uh do you want to do that side since that side is more complete than this side you know because we still got to throw some decals on here so let's go ahead and actually grab them red stripes and see if we can install Let's do it. So we finally got those red pinstripes on there and it definitely gives it more color definitely pops I'm really digging those red pinstripes, but that's gonna be all that we're gonna be doing to this GT3 wide body for now. We're actually gonna give you guys a quick build update before we go, because I know we got a lot of builds going on and we just wanna keep you guys as up to date as possible. So let's start with the S2000. It's sitting right here. It is baking, it is curing. We're not gonna mess with it until we give it a good bit of time really, right? Yeah, we've been heating this place up whenever we were doing the wrap as well. We had the heater blasting on it and dude, it looks amazing. It is pretty dang dry though. It's not like rubbery feeling anymore, so it's getting real close probably like one more time in with the heater and it should be good to yeah, go yeah but as soon as this stuff dries we're gonna start throwing everything back together we got more mods coming for it so this thing is gonna look absolutely killer when we're done with it and as for the ferrari we do got a little bit of rear bumper damage but we already ordered that as soon as it happened so that should be here any day now and it also does need a new windshield which you already have that in as well so this ferrari just needs a few little things which you might get in a later episode with another build so stay tuned for that but as for this bike right here, we pretty much got it fixed, right? Yeah, we got it fixed. All we got to do is basically just piece this sucker together. We already got some brand new plastics for it. We just got to paint that tank and just change a few bearings. And other than that, we should fire this sucker right up and wheelie it down the road. Maybe stoppy it a little bit. Maybe a little bit of stoppies here and there. But the last build that I want to update you guys on is probably going to be the F450 because that's one of our more recent builds. You haven't seen it in a couple days now. And as for the F450 Platinum here, we are waiting on a few parts from the dealership and we did order some performance mods as well. We do want to get some more power out of this thing and just have the ultimate tow rig. So you're definitely going to see this in a video here soon. Hey, what about this thing over here? This thing right here, oh, it's still got a good engine in it. Got a powertrain and all that good stuff. 
Got a bunch of good, got a steering wheel. Got dude. a seat and a steering wheel. That's all you need, man. And this but thing actually runs. It is a V8. It's got tons of power, but we haven't decided what we're going to do with that yet. But guys, that is going to be a wrap for today's video. As for the builds that we finished, the Lambo, the GTR, the cop car, the Maverick, and anything else out there, you may see them in later videos. Let us know if you want to see something done to any of those builds. Drop that in the comment section down below. But as of right now, make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything. And also, I do want to mention that we did restock on these clean hoodies. They always sell out quick. So if you want to help support your boys, be sure to visit GoonSquad.com and copy one. And also, if you haven't, be sure to follow us on Instagram where you can get an inside scoop there before YouTube. So with all that being said, thank you guys for all the love and support. Be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below, and we'll catch you next time. Peace.